Hi there, Renee Asia, Hello, Massachusetts. Just a little bit more commentary about Michael Knowles and Pearl. Um, they had a bit of discussion between marriage. And the problem isn't gender. The problem isn't sex. The problem isn't even the differences between gender and sex. It's about overall trust with others. So you'll notice the people who tend to get married grew up in probably very stable, trustworthy relationships, their families, they could trust their parents, they could trust their siblings, they could rely on each other. They probably had a cohort of friends and acquaintances that if something were to occur, they could rely and trust those people. Like, I'm the youngest of all my cousins, by the way. Like, they're a good, like, some of them are like a good 20 plus years older than me. But if something happened to me tomorrow, they would be there for me. You know, it's it's a strange thing. It's like we didn't even really kind of grow up together. They had their own families by the time I was born. But the, if something tragic were to occur, I would be there for them as well, right? That trust, that reliance, that fidelity. Look at my YouTube page, that Rin and Sand fidelity, right? It's more about romantic fidelity. It's fidelity in everything you do. So going back to the game theory, right? about games and agency. You learn about different understandings, like in the basketball, do you want the ball, the life? Do you want ball? You need to get the ball. You need to use your ball and be on the court and play the game, right? With your roster, with your trustworthy teammates. So remember like when you're like four or five years old and you're playing like shoots and ladders and candy land and those types of games, you had a trustworthy adult or a trustworthy older sibling. And you were just learning about the rules of the game, right? You were trusting the game. You the board, Think of the board game as being like an example of just life as being, right? Of course, being four or five, you cannot strategize like you can in chess or in basketball. Well, maybe some kids in those games, right? The smart ones. But you have to build up trust, right? And, you know, I played so many card games with my parents growing up. We played the Crazy Eights, Hearts. Um, we used to play a game, 45s, which was a French-Canadian game. It's kind of complicated, right? But we played board games. We played card games. I would lose to my grandmother all the time in Crazy Eights with a little kid. But I was learning something. I was learning trust, right? So what you're having right now, is a breakdown of absolute trust in other people, not just your dating. You know, everybody's complaining about there's no trust in dating. Well, there's no trust in anything, right? Like I first met my husband, he was some random dude at the supermarket. He was not love at first sight. I had to build trust with him, not just love. He was a cutie. You know, he had fit right into all the sweet spots, right? Came from a good family, a good school, was doing well at college, had a good major. He showed up on time. He had a working car. All those great things you want to find in a boyfriend when you're 19 years old. You know, it's about trust and building fidelity. Right? That's the problem. Nobody trusts anybody anymore. P children are not raised in trusting homes. They're seeing their parents being jerk, being jerks to each other, right? You're seeing everybody being jerks to each other in school. There's no trustworthiness. That's all. Love you all.